everybody, this is Jim Anderson. I'm the principal cellist of the Adrian Symphony. And I'm here to say hi from Wildwood Metro Park in Toledo. I've just arrived, I'm getting ready to take a walk. This is just minutes from my house here in Toledo and Lucas County, where I live, uh, boasts that uh, all the residents in the county are just uh, minutes away from one of the area's metro parks. So there's no excuse for us to get out and get our exercise. And of course, in these days and times, uh, we know how important our health is. It's been brought home because of the pandemic and how we're all now so concerned of, uh, of our uh, health. So here's a uh, map that shows all the miles of trails that are here at Wildwood. There are many miles of trails here, some of them paved, some of them unpaved. So you can take your pick what kind of walk you want to take. A lot of cross-country teams from the area schools use this park for training and workout. But it's, uh, I've both jogged and walked many, many miles in this park. So this property is the former Stranahan Estate. It was converted into a metro park years ago when the Stranahans donated this property. Inside the manor house behind these windows right here is a lovely large parlor that they have chamber concerts in. And I've had the pleasure of performing a number of times over the years. So one of the things that you see here at the park are dog walkers. Lots of dogs here, probably just as many dogs as uh, humans. And it's a lovely place to walk your pets. So it's not unusual to encounter dogs as I'm walking through the park. So you may not believe this, but I was standing here just a while ago and this tree came crashing down right next to me on the sidewalk. Wow. Wow, this is a big tree. So, it's Monday morning, starting a new week. Sun is up now, and I'm sitting on my patio. And I do like to be outside as much as possible. So coming out here to have coffee in the morning has been a great habit. So I wanted to talk about what I've been doing I've been very fortunate to play in three different string quartets. Because of that, I do get lots of opportunities to play with one of the three groups. Even though the weddings are down quite a bit this summer because of the pandemic, between the three quartets, I have been able to stay somewhat busy. The one quartet was able to do a couple of uh, thank you benefit concerts for the first responders because of their tough spring and summer that they've had with the pandemic going through. So those were really fun to do. We did a real broad variety of music, uh, like classical, uh, pop music, some jazz. Uh, we even did some Purple Haze, arrangement for string quartet, if you can believe that. Uh, so, but besides that, I've been teaching. My students had to switch over to being taught online. So I went to virtual teaching but more recently, it's starting to go back to studio teaching. So I have some of each right now on my patio in the backyard. And I wanted to show you my backyard. This is our patio. We added this patio after we moved into this house about eight years ago. Um, there was no outdoor space in the backyard when we uh, bought the house, but we wanted to have a place where kind of outdoors people. So we, you can see these pines back here. Uh, these were uh, put in the year after we moved here. They were about five, six foot tall. Now they're about 25 foot tall in Seattle. There's about five of them back there. We put those in along with all these other bushes we've added. Those are bird feeders back there in the corner. We Here's one of our squirrels from the squirrel family that likes to come visit our bird feeders. Not afraid. I can walk right up to him, he'll just talk to me and stare me in the eye. Whoops. There he goes, up the tree. He decided to take off. We also have a feral cat that has been showing up since last summer. There's Kitty. Kitty's showing up. 
Yeah, she showed up, so that means the squirrels and the birds are probably going to take off for a little while. She goes over and lays down in front of her condo. Because we've kind of become the uh, neighborhood home for wandering kitties, it looks like. Uh, we've decided besides the kitty condo in the back, we put in uh, this little area right here. This has a little porch. It's a little a little kitty house. Actually, it could be a dog house too, but uh, we call it the kitty house with the for front porch there on the left side. And then we have the little red roof inn here. This is called the red roof inn. So one of the other things that I like to do to stay healthy is to go on bike rides. It's a number of uh, trails close by where I live that I can pick up, ride for miles. My average bike ride is about 20 miles. That's what I like to keep it at. I haven't showed you my studio in the house, so I'd like to take, take you into my cello room, uh, show you where I've taught, taught virtually and also live. <clears throat> That's one of my cello cases. Um, this is my other cello case right here. And this is uh, my studio. It's large enough that uh, with a slight uh, pushing back of some furniture, my string quartet can sit right here in the middle and, and rehearse if we need to. Uh, and this is my Yamaha cello right here. It's the electric cello, uh, playing with rock bands. And uh, this past season, I was able to play it in a Adrian Symphony concert, uh, the concert that was called Marvelous Heroes. Had an electric cello part for the uh, Wonder Woman theme. Thank mm -hmm. you.